welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new so it has been a little while since i last uploaded a video and once again purely because of uni and everything has just been a little bit crazy in my personal life um but i am back and vlogging i thought i would do a kind of weekly or kind of monthly i haven't figured out how long this vlog is gonna go on for but a reading vlog nonetheless um i've got quite a few books on my radar at the moment that i thought would be quite interesting to kind of share so i thought i'd take you guys through the books i'm currently reading we are currently in the month of february which you can't quite believe that we already are in february not quite sure how that happened although i do feel like january went on for rather long time to be honest however i managed to finish january off on seven books which i'm really chuffed about two of those were dnfs now personally speaking i like to count my books um towards my reading goal even if i have dnf them uh one of them was a hard dnf the other one was a soft dnf but i will be talking more about those in my january and february wrap up i thought i would do what i did last year where i kind of combined two months together just because because then you get kind of like a longer video um, and I just felt like there wasn't enough kind of books to talk about in one video. These are the ones I'm currently reading. Obviously got my Kindle. I'm currently in my multiple book era and I'm reading loads of books at once which is kind of helping me feel a little bit more motivated to read purely because if I get bored of one book I can instantly kind of switch to another book which is what I'm really liking. One of them being my Kindle. My Kindle will always have a book on it which I love. It's so easy especially when I'm kind of here there and everywhere when I'm at uni I can still read there's always my opportunity of being able to read when I've got my kindle which is great I then have my other book which is a beach read by Emily Henry I have been reading this one for a little while now I am not 100% sure how I feel about this yet I'm currently 228 pages into this book with annotations I started reading you and me on vacation back when I first sort of got back into reading which was 2022 I actually kind of dnf'd it without kind of realizing I got about 100 pages into it and I just wasn't really vibing with it at all so I thought I'd just put it down and I do still have it um because it was actually a library book but then I bought all three of Emily Henry's books from the works because they were in like a three for I think at the time it was like three for five pounds so I have got it and I am determined to get through it however people have said that Beach Read is one of their favorite Emily Henry books I'm also wanting to get Happy Place which is one of her newer releases and she's actually got another release coming out this year which I'm really excited about. I just love the covers of these books. These are the kind of books that make me really happy. So I have been kind of soaking this one in just a little bit more purely because romance isn't my favourite genre. Now I quite like a YA romance, something that's very kind of light-hearted, kind of like a rom-com that's kind of more my vibe but when it kind of includes either like spice in it or anything like that it kind of just ruins the kind of book for me so I have been really skeptical about picking up an Emily Henry book but I keep seeing everyone talk about her books and just say how amazing they are so I was like I picked it up I have been reading this for about 10 days if not more and I really really want to get to the end of it as I said I am on page 228 and I think think overall there is there's 358 pages so I have actually got just over 100 pages left which I feel like is feasible it's doable and I will finish it this week I'm determined to finish it this week I did finish a Kindle book yesterday which was Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman I think that's her surname I can't remember I actually ended up rating that one four stars which I didn't think I was going to rate very highly but I ended up actually really loving it and I've also I'm now on to reading The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce if you guys have been following me for a while you guys will know that this is up there with one of my favorite like books ever when I first found out about this book I got it in a paperback which is actually up here um and I read the paperback within like 
less than 24 hours I think and then the second book came out which is The Retreat and I got that one in a hardback because I got it when it first got released and then I won a giveaway that she was holding and she actually gave me a signed copy of a paperback The Retreat which I love it's one of my prized possessions and essentially I wanted to collect the hardbacks and the paperbacks of all of the books that she releases especially this series because um i just love it so much i love the character i love her writing i think it's so good and honestly every book that i've read or the two books that i've read i've devoured them so quickly so if you're in the market for a mystery suspense thriller that are super atmospheric like she has it pinpoint um like on atmosphere like I tell you that then I thoroughly recommend these so I'm also doing my second reread because her third book is coming out this year as well which I cannot wait to get my hands on like honestly when I tell you I am so excited I wish I had it in my hands right this second so I could read it because I am dying to know what happens it's also the last book in the Ellen Warner series which is kind of the detective and the main character that we follow throughout the three books <sighs> I just I could talk about this book for ages but I just decided to pick it up and I basically my the moral of the story is that I found this in hardback for three pounds on Amazon which I'm so happy I managed to find and it's got really funky yellow sprayed edges I need to go back out in about an hour so I've got approximately about an hour until I need to go back out I've been out this morning I was actually ill on Monday which wasn't very nice didn't do much reading then I did quite a lot of reading yesterday I was about 60% of the way through before we were innocent and I managed to finish it which I'm really chuffed about so that's my first book completed in February I'm gonna try and attempt to finish this as I said it is taking me a little bit longer as well because I am annotating it but I love how an annotated book looks when you kind of like finish it I just think there's something so satisfying about it and I love it so yeah so I'm gonna read that i've also got death in paradise on in the background kind of like one of my comfort shows um so i am watching that i'm gonna set up i'm gonna get a hot water bottle because for some reason i get so cold in the afternoon um so we're gonna be doing that so i take you guys along with me enjoy um and if you let me know in the comments what you guys are currently reading as well
update with the books that I'm currently reading. So I filmed a February TBR, like a choose a TBR with me, which will go up obviously before this vlog. And I ended up choosing six books out of that video, which will probably be the books I now go on to read. Um, I have been reading The Sanatorium again, which is a reread. And then I'm also reading my ARC copy of a book on Kindle. However, this morning I managed to finally, finally finish Beat Read. I really did actually enjoy this book. There were a few parts of it where I felt like it did fall a little bit flat for me or I just I can't quite pinpoint the point where I felt like it fell flat for me I think it might just be because personally I wasn't in the mood to read um I wouldn't say I was in a slump because I managed to finish the book and I'm eager to pick up another book and usually if I'm in a slump like I don't want to pick up a book I just can't think what it was. I don't know if it's because I was reading a new genre or if it was a new writer or honestly, no idea. a few days since I last vlogged I think it's been about a week actually um but I've just had kind of no chance to pick up my vlogging camera as such to initially begin vlogging <laughs> and even pick up a book throughout the day to just start reading essentially and I also looked back at the footage that I had already taken for this video um and some of it was just kind of completely out of the kind of the intent for this video which is solely a reading vlog um because I haven't done one in a really long time and I thought that I would film one for kind of February although in saying that we are the 21st of February today we're the 21st of February today it is currently 20 to 4 and essentially I have nothing else to do I've done pretty much all of my to-do list for today I was super super productive yesterday and managed to kind of get everything done that I needed to get done um for YouTube so I'm really chuffed with that um and I'm also currently reading three books in one go. My Kindle book at the moment is The Teacher by Frieda McFadden. This is her latest release and I am thoroughly enjoying this one. Well, I don't know. I haven't really got any thoughts on it yet. I feel like it could end up being quite a weird book so I'm not 100% sure. I'm also then reading How the Pill Changes Everything by Dr Sarah E Hill. This book has been recommended to me by a lot of my female friends. I want to educate myself more on the pill. I feel like at 16 years old it is the traditional age to kind of go onto the pill. I feel like you're just given a pill and kind of just like not told anything about it and essentially I would just prefer to kind of educate myself but knowing that it's coming from a trustworthy source. I'm trying to kind of balance it out between in saying that I am reading two thrillers at one time. Usually I would probably read three different genres, one being non-fiction, one being fiction and the other one being fiction but from a different genre. So this is my non-fiction book. I'm currently 25 pages into this book so I'm not very far in. I've only had it for a few days but I'm kind of taking it slowly and digesting what's kind of in it. And then my current fiction read is The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. I'm on page 247 out of 383 pages. So I've got a little over kind of 100 pages to read. And ideally I'd like to get this finished. So my plan for the rest of the afternoon is to literally just sit here and read my book, but I thought I would vlog it 
Um, I've also got my hot water bottle. It's so cold today. It's only... I actually don't know what the temperature is. It is... It's 10 degrees. So it's not very warm. Um, it's really rainy and grey and horrible outside at the moment. I'm just looking out my window and it's just... Dismal. Um, I've also got Death in Paradise on in the background. And I've got a cup of tea waiting for me as well. So I feel like we've got all the cosy vibes. I've also got my little electric fireplace, which you can just see down there um, on and kind of vibing. So as I said, I'm going to spend the afternoon reading my books. I think my aim will be to kind of finish this book. So I'm going to retire the other books just for now. So I then have some books to read this evening and... Yeah. asleep it was about midnight ish I want to say because I finished reading the sanatorium which I really really wanted to finish at least by the end of this week purely because I've been reading that book for like the last couple of weeks um so I managed to finish it I'll tell you what let me give you guys a little reading update let me put my tea down I haven't read any more of my non-fiction book because I honestly literally last night I just ended up finishing this. I'm gonna spend the first half of my morning reading. I don't think I'm gonna pick up kind of another physical fiction book until I finish this one or at least until I get about halfway through this one. I need to focus on finishing some books because I've started so many and I haven't finished any apart from the sanatorium now which is going to now live, you guys can see, up on my top, top shelf. I've got my other therapist books just there, so that's going to slot in there, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and read some of this. As I said, it is 20 minutes past eight. Um, I have got a couple of things to get done today, but I feel like I can read at least till sort of like 10, half 10. And then sort of actually start getting ready for the day, have breakfast and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I 
realise what this book is giving me. It's given me the ick, guys. It is giving me, and I don't like using that word because the word itself gives me an ick. I just, I'm sorry. Frida McFadden, usually I love her books. Like, love them. I really don't know what possessed her to write a book that has got... I have a feeling I know what's going to happen though. Well, essentially, these are my thoughts. Oh, see, I don't know if they're going to be spoilers or not. Essentially not. Okay, if you've read The Teacher, then stay put. I'm going to put like a spoiler, potential spoiler, like, ahead. I am really confused at what's going on right now. I have a feeling that Mr. Bennett, Nate and Addie, the student, are gonna have an affair or some sort because their relationship is not normal and she's, she's supposedly had an affair with a previous teacher that made him get fired. So I feel like something along those lines is gonna happen. But then, I read the synopsis again of the book and I have a feeling that something's gonna result in murder or that Mrs. Bennett is gonna find out like secrets about Addie and expose them and Addie kills her or vice versa, I'm not sure, or they end up killing Nay. I have no idea. But it's bugging me and I really don't like the premise of this book at all. I just think it's really inappropriate like really inappropriate so i will keep reading as i said but it's not giving me the vibes that i want it to give i'm not sitting here and saying that thrillers should be giving you like warm and cozy vibes because that is not the case but i don't know there's just something icky about this book it's the only kind of way that i can kind of describe it it is currently 26 minutes past nine i'm gonna go make some breakfast i think because i'm getting a little peckish I don't really know what to have, we haven't really got much in the house, so I'm gonna have to improvise. And I'll probably keep reading this for a little while longer whilst I eat, and then I'm gonna sort of like start my day. Hi guys. So it is a little bit later now, it is. I don't actually know the time to be honest. Should we have a look? 11 minutes past three. What have I done today? Good question. Actually, you know, saying that, I have edited. A video i've just edited my january and february wrap up which is going live in my time next week but essentially it went up three weeks ago <laughs> in your time so i've done that and i've also started editing this vlog which i do also have one whole video to edit as well which is my march tbr which is the video that's gone up before this vlog if that makes sense. Trying to film videos and then figure out the uploading schedule is so difficult and I don't know how people do it because I'm so confused but I've had to essentially pre-film like three different videos because next week is my assignment week at uni and I know that I won't have time to film a video and obviously I still want to be able to upload but kind of you know upload and still doing my uni assignment but i have to go out in about 20 minutes to go pick up my mum from work but i thought we could pick my next read together basically i'm really stuck on what to do because i filmed my march tbr i already have my march tbr like set ready to go i know what i'm reading for the month of march but we are still in february but then i don't want any books like to sort of hang over from this month into next month because i've got a really busy reading month next month so i'm really not sure what to do there's a part of me that really wants to read daisy hates to then read into the dark but i don't know why but i really want to save that for a separate reading vlog i'm looking at my bookshelves right now and i have absolutely no idea what i want to read so i have a feeling i might actually do what i was supposed to do and read what i initially had on my february tbr that is why i went on my phone and then i was just replying to a text i do track my tbrs by the way on notion i do use notion quite a lot i love it uh monthly tbrs 
Okay, February. Oh god, we had quite a few actually. We had Man Called Ove, Winter and Sokcho, Yellow Face, The Hurricane Wars, Daisy Hates the Great Undoing, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. Okay. <laughs> what is the date today? Okay, well the 22nd, we have essentially have got seven days yeah we've essentially got seven days until the end of february so i feel like tonight i will want an easy read i still have my other non-fiction book but i would like to read potentially uh like a another fiction book i do have my kindle book but i'm not vibing with it at the moment so i feel like tonight i could sit and read this because this is only going to take an hour or so um and maybe do you know what maybe we dive into oh guys i didn't give you guys a book haul from the other day did i i was naughty i could read this okay there are two options <laughs> i went to the works and I got some books and I haven't even showed you guys so I feel like I should um so I did buy four books in there I also don't know if I showed you guys but I finally have all of the new covers of the Magnolia Parks books so in the three for six deal I got three books I got Honey and Spice. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this author's name, but I've heard so many people talk about this book and how good it is. So I'm really happy that I found this. I then got The Circus Train. This is a historical fiction and I just, the sound of it sounded really, really good. So I got this. And then I got The Storied Life of AJ Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. And I've only just kind of put two and two together that it's the same author as tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow so i now have two gabrielle zevin books which i'm actually really excited to read and also i may as well show you i got the new covers all of the new covers of the magnolia parks essentially into the dark arrived a few days ago last week actually and look how beautiful she is and i got all the new covers as well i originally had these two and then i found this in the works for five pounds and then i found these two on amazon for a deal so i was like do you know what we're gonna get them because i've been dying to get them actually we are gonna take these two and read these i think <laughs> Thank you. 